In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to upload images to WordPress via make.com. The process for uploading featured images and in content images varies a bit, and I'm going to go through both of these within the same scenario. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible using an Airtable base where we're storing the images within the Airtable base. Once you understand how to do this, then you can move on to our far more advanced blogging automations where you can do things like building an article out section by section using OpenAI's GPT-40, Claude, or OpenRouter. If you want to get access to all of our blueprints, including the one in this video, then check out the link in the description to our community. Let's get started. I have an Airtable base here where I have the article title, the article status. Once this is marked as published to WordPress, we want the automation to upload the images to WordPress. Through this automation, we'll also upload a blog post and attach those images to the blog post. But if you only want to upload images, you can just use that part of the automation. So I've opened up a new scenario in make.com. I'm going to select air. I just type in air table and I'm going to select search records. If you do not have a connection, then press add and go through the authentication process. So I'm selecting my air table base here that I just created and the post table is what the name is called and it's called post table. I'm leaving everything else blank here. And then for formula, we want to pick up records where the status is equal to publish to WordPress. So I'm going to open up a curly bracket and type status equals publish, publish to WordPress. I'm going to limit it to one for the moment. So I only want to pick up one record every time I press run once. I'm going to press save, I press run once, and we see it's correctly picked up this image. So we have this content image and we have a featured image. The process to upload a featured image in WordPress is different to that of uploading a content image, like an, an image within the content of the blog post. I'm going to cover both in this video. First off, I'll start with how to upload a featured image. So we'll go to WordPress and we'll select create a post. I've already covered how to create a WordPress connection in another video on this channel. So check out the link in the description if you need to do that from scratch. So I select my connection here. For title, I'm going to select the article title from WordPress. The in-article content will be this article text, which is this here. We'll need to make an update to that after, but I'll start with this. So for type, I'll select posts. So then you see we need this featured media ID. Unfortunately, we cannot just pass a URL to this. So we'll press OK, and then we'll add a separate module here. We we'll select WordPress, and then we will select create a media item, then we need to map that data. In order to map the data, make.com needs to grab the image data from Airtable and then pass that to WordPress. So I'll select add a module here and then select get a file. So the HTTP module of get a file. Then from this in the URL, I'll start off with the featured image. Then I'll select this URL of featured image. And then once we press save, press save anyway, then this should automatically map, should be in the operative word. Press save and it still did not. I press save. I'm going to refresh the page again. Okay, it's mapped the file. However, there is a quirk for the make.com app for WordPress, which means that we need to manually define the file name. The reason being that if you pass a file name that already exists on your WordPress site, this will automatically overwrite it. And that could override images that are on previous blog posts, which is not good. That's a really serious shortcoming that they really should sort out. But for the moment, what we can do is just use a different file name. So I'm going to use the title of the blog post, but I'll also add in a hyphen and go to the date time functions and select now, which is the current time. And just to keep things simple, I'm going to add in JPEG at the end because I know that's the extension of the file names I'm uploading. You can make it more complex than this, but we'll do that for the moment and I'll press OK. Then finally, for this create a post in WordPress, we'll go to media item ID, we'll press OK then we'll press save. That by itself should be enough for us to upload featured images. So it's got the file. It's now about to create a media item and it's creating a post. There we go. We have this post, we have the image and we have the text, although the text is in Markdown, which we can improve. So let's keep going with that. I'm going to press shift. I'm going to right click, add a module, select Markdown, Markdown to HTML. That being that if we look at this, we see this is all in formatting, but once we receive that in make.com, it gets sent via Markdown, which is not in a format that WordPress can recognize. So if we select the article text within this markdown to HTML, then instead of passing the original article text from Airtable, we pass in the result of that markdown to HTML module, then that should be good from there. So let's try that again. Again, it's creating a media item. Now the text is in much better format. Before we work with these content images, I want the automation to update the status of this so it does not keep pushing the same articles again and again to WordPress. So at the very end of this automation, we'll select Airtable and select update a record. We'll select our base again. 
to the, this WordPress image test base, select posts. For the record ID, I'll scroll all the way down to this search records module. And that's the ID from the very start of the scenario. And then for status, I'm gonna uncheck the map here and status should be published. So from now on, every time we run this automation and it picks up one of these, it will automatically change that to published. And you'll see that in a second. But for now, we now want to upload the in-content image as well. In order to understand the differences between these, I'm gonna rename these modules to get featured image and then upload featured image. Then I'm gonna press shift and drag. I'm gonna copy these modules and then paste the modules in. Then I'm gonna unlink this and then link this into the flow. And I'm gonna change this to get content image and then upload content image. Then within this, I'm gonna change the reference from featured media URL to this content image URL. And then I'm gonna upload the content image, which is content image eight. In this case, for the file name, I'm just going to use the article title again and add two to it. And it will then also append the current date time to the very end of the file name. Again, this is all just to ensure uniqueness to make sure it does not overwrite existing images. So I press save. When it uploads the content image, we're gonna get back a image ID and maybe some other information, but it will not give us the direct image link. So what we need to do then finally is to go to WordPress and get a media item. And the media item ID will be this previous media item ID where we uploaded the content image. I'm gonna rename this to get content media item. I'll press auto align. So before we add this content item to the post, we're gonna unlink this and I'm going to do a test to upload the featured image and the content image to the site. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna link these again. So that has worked. We have a source URL here, which is good. So I'm going to link those back again. And then within the WordPress post content, we're gonna then add the content image to this post content. So I'm going to open up an image tag. This is using HTML, but it's really, really simple. So I'll type image SRC and then close that off. So the SRC will be the source name. So that's the source of the image. You can add other things like alt text, but for the moment, this is all you need to just render the image. So I press okay, press save. And from there, this should be everything we need to get featured and in content images. So I'm gonna run that once and then let that work away. There we go, we have the featured image and we have the text and an in content image at the very end of the article. Of course, we can get far more complex with this, build the article section by section, you can add in internal links, you can add images per section, you add YouTube videos, whatever else you want. We have multiple blogging blueprints on our channel that you can check out as well as within our community. But this more simple automation should give you the building blocks you need to create more complex automations. And if you wanna get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We will get access to all of our automation templates, including the one in this video. You get access to all these courses as well as more on the way. You can get live support from us via our weekly calls as well as through our active discussion boards.